We should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my class. This presents your first perfect opportunity to help you Evanesco once you found the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to banish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. Well, I'm here. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then look at the chairs. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's... Accio. Revelio. Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Akio.
Rebellion. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Rebellion. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Rebellion. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Incendium. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of Rick... It's unplottable, so won't... Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions. You seem to have accessed it in its form. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Oh, that explains it then. Well then, the room can provide you with precise. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed.
You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex ob... Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to... I will be sure to speak with Deke. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn... Revelio.
Tried transforming a rabbit. I'm ready for the next lesson. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it. Return to me what I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. You can conjure... Conjuration can be used to deck. Why don't you try it on...
Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What? I think you're ready to take on all. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the... Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altar. Customize it. I have some questions about alteration. Yes? How do I use the altering spell? Simply aim your wand at a conjured item that you would like to customize and cast the altering spell as I showed you. You can change an item's appearance in a number of ways as well as move the item around the room. Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. I'll be here if you need anything else. Revelio. Rebellion.
Acción. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Fit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you... I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect.
Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about Alto. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of pos... Indeed. No matter... Even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect.
Revelio. Revelio. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can... This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt, he named it the Undercroft. We used to play golf zones here all the time, with my sister, Anne. Revelio. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give her again. I should tell you. between us. Revelio, who never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day... I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them as he'll be the first to tell you. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon you using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught. To be fair, I'm admittedly... But you should learn. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well.
You're getting it. Ready to actually try? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think... Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You're getting... That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say... I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was... I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look for... Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. I... That's what we're trying to find out. I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, Tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting cut. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, when I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place, and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this.
Revelio. Oh, I hate being left down. I would Doing like to well. teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said. And there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the Owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Made. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If 
If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago. In like So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will... T but of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose. You will need patience. The trial... I'm afraid we don't have the luxury. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? You may have seen it. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then. B. Revelio. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks.
This looks intriguing. Revelio. Accio. Rebellion. I remind everyone that a wizard shopper. Expel the armor, sir. Son, that is who you be. Let's see. 
shall we say. Revelio. No one hides. Ha! Ah, the lamb returns to the wolf. Incendio. Contango. Incendio. You're burning my favorite clothes! Good day, Dota. Stupid boy. This is... Accio. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Confringo. This place has seen better days. Protego! Confringo! Accio! Over here! We're not alone. We are. Can't we apparate past them into the tower? We... More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they... They've set up camp, just... Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Seems quiet. Too quiet.
stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Huh? Or, I suppose we could charge right into their mist. Oh. Incendio. Rebellion. 